Hi. Now, you can see what I've done. I've removed all the forces now because I think it'll make the diagram a bit clearer for this next part. You also notice I've updated the acceleration that we calculated as 0.98 meters per second per second. Now we're told that this particle Q started off at a height of 0.8 meters above the ground. So what I'm going to do is draw what I often refer to as a kind of ghosty type diagram. It started off up here at 0.8 meters. So we'll just write that in 0.8 meters. And it started from rest. So let's just mark that in that up here it was 0 meters per second. I've done a single arrow to illustrate a velocity downwards but it's of 0 meters per second. And we've got to calculate the speed that it hits the ground. So when it hits the ground just before it hits the ground it's going to be going at v meters per second. Okay, V for that final speed. So how are we going to find this? Well, this is a typical case of using the equations for constant acceleration, the SUVAT equations that you should be familiar with. That is S for displacement, U for initial velocity, V for final velocity, A for acceleration and T for time. And we're going to look at applying this in the downward sense. So we're going to take downwards as positive. Always make sure you mark on your sense. So what is S? Well S is going to be a displacement of 0.8 meters. So I have that then as 0.8 meters. U is going to be clearly the initial velocity which is 0 meters per second. The final velocity, well we need that, that's what we want to find. Acceleration was downwards, 0 0.98 meters per second per second. As for t, well we don't want to know t, so we can just leave that out. So I'll just rub that one out, okay? So what equation links S, U, V and A? Well hopefully you've remembered that it is V squared equals U squared plus 2AS. So that's what we're going to be using. So what is u? Well u is 0 so that's going to be 0 when you square it. I'll just put it in anyway. Then we've got plus 2 times the acceleration 0 0.98 times s. s the displacement 0 0.8. Work this out and you should find that you get 1.568 exactly on your calculator and then to get V we need to find the square root of 1.568 and if you do that you would end up with V equaling 1.252 and so on which let's say we round it to one decimal place then therefore we have V equals 1.3 meters per second to one decimal place. Okay?